You're listening to Puma Podcast. Hi, I'm Tatiana Maligro, Puma Podcast, and you're listening to Teka Teka News. In this episode... Well, we're extremely happy, of course, as an association, and I think as a Filipino nation, dahil nagkaroon tayo ng additional athletes who qualified for Paris Olympics. So I think so far we have six. And uh, I'm, I'm proud to say that three out of the six so far from uh, boxing. And so, sakto pa kasi Women's Month. Kung baga na showcase no, yung, yung talent and yung stories na rin no, ni na Nesty Petesio and Ira Villegas. No? So I think uh, magandang ma-share talaga with everyone. Let's talk about the country's latest achievement in international sports. Not one, but two Filipinas hitting the Olympic boxing ring this July. Pasok na ang Pinay boxers sa sina Nesty Petesio at Ira Villegas sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Makakabalik si Petesio sa Olimpiada kung saan maaari niyang higitan ng kanyang silver medal finish noong 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Ito ay matapos talunin ni Petesio si Ezra Gildas. Well, si Nesty is more well-known, uh, I guess, so after winning the uh, silver medal at the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, and aside from that, uh, she also won the world championships in 2019. So she's a world champion. Before uh, she became an Olympic medalist, uh, she was also a two-time SEA Games gold medalist. Uh, last year in Cambodia, she she won gold as well. That was sports psychologist Marcos Manalo. He's Secretary General of the Association of Boxing Alliances in the Philippines a federation of boxing collectives that serves as the governing body of Filipino boxers. And he was talking about a name you may already know by now, because Nasty's portfolio to this point is long and story. So si Nasty, uh, marami na talagang na, na-accomplish sa international tournament. Siguro masasabi ko si Nasty yung pinaka uh, maganda yung resume, so to speak, in women's boxing because of medals in both the uh, World Championships and the Olympics. Plus, she's the only Filipina boxer to become a two-time Olympian. Her story then ito for Nesty, itong second time niya to qualify. But this isn't an episode about Nesty, even though she does have everything to do with Pinay boxing's resurgence as of late. No, this is a love letter to the Pinay boxer because more and more of them are coming out of the woodwork to make us all proud. Here's another name to start paying attention to. Ira Bijaygas gets it. It's a unanimous decision. No argument here. Congratulations. Ira Bijaygas of the Philippines going to Paris and now... Actually, merong famous journalist who asked me uh, if I was surprised to Ira to qualify. Sabi ko, not at all. Although si Ira... He hasn't accomplished a lot internationally. The tournament namin in Spain a month before the Olympic qualifiers, yun actually ang first gold medal ni Ira sa international tournament. So recently lang siya nakapanalo ng, ng gold medal. But kami sa team, we really saw her potential ever since. And, and in fact, ito, hindi rin alam to ng marami. As uh, the National Boxing Federation, we actually nominated her para dun sa Olympic Solidarity Scholarship because we really believe in her potential. Because ever since, um, hindi pa siya nakaka breakthrough, so to speak, no, uh, silver medal and uh, some of the big tournaments like Southeast Asian Games and some invitational tournaments, no, quarterfinals at the World Championships. Pero nakikita namin na uh, konting uh, push na lang and uh, makukuha na rin niya yung breakthrough. When we think Pinoy boxing, we more than likely think of Manny Pacquiao and an empty Epifanio de los Santos Avenue on days when he's fighting for us. That's because Philippine boxing has always been a national passion, almost as much as basketball. But for women, it's a scene that's been steadily growing. We've seen some talented Filipinas enter the ring professionally with boxers like Sarah, Thrilla from Manila Goodson, paving the way in the early 2000s. 
things really started to gain momentum around the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, where Nesty Patesho became the first Filipino boxer to snag a medal, a silver at the Games. This win wasn't just a personal triumph for Patesho. It ignited a fire for women's boxing in the Philippines. More young girls are seeing boxing as a viable path, and gyms are reporting a rise in female trainees. And that's exactly the environment that we need to sustain for the next generation. We're pausing for a quick break, but for now, here's Marcos again. Siguro yung isa pa is yung Boxing for All program. I hope uh, we can launch it as soon for people to have a better appreciation of boxing. No? And for them to see na actually boxing is for everyone. But you don't need to compete, you don't need to spar, but you can use boxing as a good form of physical activity or exercise. So if we can bring our boxers like Nesty and Ira to the communities, you know, if we can bring them to the park and for them to like lead some boxing workout programs, then uh, siguro we can also improve yung appreciation ng, ng mga tao sa boxing uh, para makita nila na, ay, actually, kaya rin pala namin gawin to. Uh, if you get more interest, you know, if you get uh, better participation, and if you're a- able to also go to the different areas of the country, then uh, siguro magiging byproduct na lang yung uh, pagkakaroon ng mga Olympic champions or Olympic medalists uh, later on. Actually, at the start of this year, I was telling her, I think this is your year. And in the past couple of years, she struggled with the injuries. But sabi ko, if we're able to to manage that, mas mapapakita mo talaga mo ano yung kaya mo. And I'm, I'm really uh, proud and happy for Ira na nag-qualify na siya for, for Paris Olympics. Sabi ko nga, Olympian ka na. The, the first time I saw her after she secured the uh, uh, Olympic qualification. Again, that was Marcos Manalo of the Association of Boxing Alliances in the Philippines. He was talking about Ira Villegas and her successful bid to compete in the Paris Olympics in July. As you've heard, the Filipina boxer is surging. But the progress can't and shouldn't stop there. Not with a long line of new hopefuls looking to Nesty and Ira's inspiration. Marcos has an idea to boost the country's budding boxing scene, especially for future female boxers. As a national federation, and, and for me uh, personally, I'd like us to be felt more in the provinces uh, through our grassroots programs. It would be great if you know we can visit and hold training camps and, and tryouts in different provinces. I mean, if we can bring our, our boxers there also, it would be better. Uh, one of the areas that I want to focus on also are yung coach development programs in the provinces. No? Because if you develop better coaches, you'll develop better boxers uh, eventually. Despite the growing interest, Filipina boxers still face some hurdles. For the only predominantly Christian country in Asia, boxing is still very much seen as a man's game, which can make it difficult for female boxers to train properly, travel to competitions, and get the recognition they deserve. Which, as we know, is an erroneous way of thinking about the sport in 2024. And that's because... I think two of our most accomplished boxers are actually women boxers. Uh, Josie Gabuco and Nesty Petesho. Both are world champions. Both are multiple times SEA Games champions. Both are medalists at the Asian level. Both are, as I mentioned, medalists at the world level. While things are changing, some traditional views may still linger. Stereotypes about women in combat sports can discourage young girls from entering the ring, or families from fully supporting their boxing dreams. This also makes the search for fresh, young talent much more sluggish. One of the problems we're encountering as a national federation ay yung participation ng, ng women in boxing. So it's, it's uh, harder for us to recruit uh, women into the national team because the participation is not the same as uh, on the men's side. So men's side, wala kami problema when it comes to recruitment. But the women's side, medyo manipis pa yung, yung lineup namin, to be honest. No? But as our appearance in the Paris Olympics is going to prove, the wheels are definitely turning. And international boxers had better be ready. 
and they're not just there because they're women they're there because they're competent and that's uh, uh, big for us and, and again hopefully uh, that can influence uh, future participation uh, no, whether it's the uh, side of technical officials and even the athletes uh, this is huge for us um, Neste and Ira qualifying because for the young girls out there and other women out there usually we need role models like if we see that Nest and Ara were able to get it done, uh, they were able to to accomplish this, no? and they also started from humble beginnings. Na nagsimula lang din sila na talaga manalang, uh, nangangarap lang din, no? and they were they were able to to deliver, they were able to make it. I think it's it's huge, no. And that was today's episode of Teka Teka News. Again, I'm Tatiana Maligro. This episode was edited by Pidoy Blanco. Our Teka Teka News executive producer is Jill Caro, and our senior editor is Veronica Uy. If you liked this episode, share it with a friend or two. And of course, don't forget to follow Teka Teka News and Puma Podcast on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. Thanks for listening.